So there are a few different approaches that we take in order to mainstream the sharing economy. The first one is about communication. And it's about what we communicate and how we communicate it. And some of the language around the sharing economy. First of all, we always use the, the terminology sharing. We talk about sharing because it's an accessible term. Everybody can share. Everyone has the potential to share. And it's something that everybody, people do. We wouldn't be here as a society if we weren't sharing. So it's a very accessible term. But we also talk about the messaging around sharing and this whole idea that sharing is smart. It's about using the things that you have that you don't need to get the things that you do. It's about smarter, better living. And who wouldn't want to do that? This idea that the more you share, the more you have. Again, a big part of the approach of mainstreaming the sharing economy is really about selling the benefits of the sharing economy. And this idea that sharing is the new shopping. We need to speak to people in a language that you know, people can really engage with and really appreciate. And this whole notion that this is a new way of consuming. It's a new way of not just consuming, it's wider than consumption, but it's also about how we, how we are and how we live and how we exist in our communities, but also how we do business as well. And community is really important, and the way in which we approach community. So at the People Who Share, we've been running these mass engagement campaigns, as I mentioned, like Global Sharing Day, which this year takes place on the 2nd of June. And we really promote this whole idea of working in partnership. So the People Who Share works in partnership with many, many organisations. We currently have 175 partner organisations signed up for Global Sharing Day. I hope many of you in this room will also sign up. It's free and it's easy. And, and what we do essentially is and how we work. And this partnerships mode of working is something that is really critical to this whole model. But we also run these online events called CrowdShare, where we go out into communities. And the, I guess the critical thing here is really very much about taking the sharing economy out of the space of the educated middle classes. It's basically, it's, it's about taking it out of a niche environment and really taking it out on the high street. And one really specific example of something that we did um, last year I'm going to give you is we ran an event in Marks and Spencers, high street retailer in the UK on Oxford Street. And that really is taking the sharing economy onto the high street. And we were there with information about Global Sharing Day, talking to people in the street, in the store, about sharing um, and about the sharing economy and about in, in this particular context it's an initiative that Marks and Spencer have called Shopping where people can bring items of clothing into the store, into a store that they know that's on their high street and essentially that's about closing the loop and recycling that clothing. So it's very much about getting out there. We ran an event in Brighton as part of something called People's Day. Um, we were in the, in the Dome, a central location in Brighton, and there were thousands of people coming through the doors. And again, we had this share table. People could bring items that they could share. Um, we had a clothes swap. And very much this whole idea of just giving people this positive, exciting experience of sharing, but taking it to people, taking it out there into community, onto the streets. And this is really critical to all of this. So the people who share are catalysts. We are about working in partnership with organisations that believe in this concept of the sharing economy. We are not about um, running um, some kind of central, um, or large organisation. We are what we are about is we're about working together in partnership with organisations. And so we reach out. So we do lots of outreach, um, and people also come to us. And and how we work is it's basically based around this whole notion of of share, creating shared value and mutual benefit. So what we say is that we're all about promoting all the fantastic activity that's happening out there in the sharing economy, all the great sharing that's happening. And that's what we do. You can see this is, this is all our materials include um, you know, all of the branding from other partners that are in the mix because this is really critical. We want to promote the sharing that is happening out there because we believe passionately that in order to build a sharing economy, we need to be this catalyst and we need to connect the sharing economy in order to build it. And in terms of the connection, we, we launched something from Nesta, and I can see Helen Golden sitting in the audience last year, called the Global Sharing Economy Network. 
And really the idea of this is to create this, this community, this network of partner organisations and lots and lots of different organisations that can work together in order to take this out there into communities far and wide and really promote the sharing economy, again, in order to connect it, in order to build it. And then we get into the actual building of the sharing economy. And I'm also the founder of compareandshare.com. And for those of you who don't know, compareandshare.com is the world's first comparison marketplace of the sharing economy. It's a one-stop destination. And again, coming back to these principles of working in partnership, on compareandshare.com, what we do is we promote all the different organizations that are out there, and we deliver it to the consumer in one easy-to-use package. So currently on the site we have UK, the UK car and ride sharing um, operators and we're extending that this year further into the travel sector and we'll be building the different sections and the different categories of the marketplace to deliver it to the consumer in one easy to use place. And the thinking behind this is very much that in the same way that eBay opened up the second hand goods market, what we're doing with compareandshare.com is we are opening up the sharing market and delivering it to the consumer in an easy to use package that is basically about a good deal for all. It's about ways of making and saving money through the sharing of resources. And this is the big, this is the big message really. It's about selling that message share more. And that's the message that we need to get across. Because of course who shares wins, but we all know that, right? So these, these, this is what we've been doing. So it's very much, just to kind of recap, it's about, it's about catalyzing, it's about connecting, and it's about communicating. And this is how we'll build the sharing economy. And in the name of sharing, I'm going to invite onto the stage to share the stage um, with Imran Azam, who's going to tell you about something that we're launching um, that is very much about taking this mainstream. And it's very much about how we're going to communicate what we're doing. So the objective, as I've just stated, is to bring the sharing economy to the mainstream through the promotion of user-generated content. It's not about us, it's about you. Through the people who share .com's extensive social media uh, networks and partnerships. Because we always work through partnerships. You shouldn't be shy in approaching either Benita or myself. We're here to help you gain that audience traction. So who's part of the team? There's our Motley crew. Uh, you might recognize the guy on the top right. Uh, and actually, I recognize some of the faces in the audience. Uh, I also run the LinkedIn group for Collaborative Consumption Europe, in case you just want to join that. But I, I noticed a few faces here. You all look a lot, a lot better looking in real life, <laughs> which is the opposite of internet dating, right? That's enough about my private life. So what kind of content are we hosting? Well, you might have seen some of these. These are five-minute countdown interviews. Now, who's got an attention span longer than five minutes online? Nobody. I mean, five minutes is stretching it, right? So these are just some examples of people that we have uh, interviewed. Uh, that's Kim Wynn of We, uh, we Teach Me. Uh, Joel, Joel Dalroy of Desk Wanted. Alex Stephanie of Park My House. And Andy Peck of TrustedHouseSitters.com. 
There's about 15 or 20 of these on the YouTube channel that you can watch at your leisure. iTunes podcasts. So again, the only dedicated channel for uh, content in the sharing economy. Again, all of our interviews are converted into podcasts. Okay, meal sharing guys, where are you? There they are. <laughs> yes, they are lovely sponsors. So this was a Google Hangout we did last week. Uh, Jay was in Chicago, uh, Adam was in Chicago, Ainara was in Berlin, I think, and uh, Matt in the form of those in Brighton, and we held the first ever sharing economy quiz. It's about trying to entertain people and get them to understand more about the organization that we're deal dealing with. And finally, this is the live bit, and the, what, what this equipment here is over here. It doesn't look particularly sophisticated, but it's pretty powerful. In a moment, we're going to stream live to the internet, and on, your, on a queue, you guys are going to have to erupt. And we'll, we'll do a test run, okay? In England, you probably have to do a test run two or three times because they're very reserved. But this is France, right? Okay, so mobile streaming. Uh, yesterday, we were at the House of Parliament. We weren't meeting David Cameron, but we were there hosting a session about meal sharing, and we streamed live from the House of Parliament uh, for the first part of an hour. So everybody who spoke, we were streaming live. When we stream live, it actually goes to anybody who's liked our Facebook page to stream as well. So you can watch it live in Facebook. We also automatically send out a tweet so that you can watch it live as well. So whenever we're doing anything, or whenever there's anything going on on Sharing Economy TV, you will know about it. Okay, who in this room has an Apple phone? Hands up. Suckers. Who in this room is open-minded and has an Android phone? Okay, and who in this room is really alternative? Like truly alternative and has a wiki. Own up, do you have a Windows 8 mobile? Anyone? I think one hand kind of went up and went back down again. Right, the reason I'm telling you this is if you have one of these phones, you can participate in Sharing Economy TV. That's it. This little piece, of, this equipment here is really all you need, and I'll introduce you to that in a second. So finally, before we go live, what you can expect from Sharing Economy Television support. Okay, so we don't just leave you to it. This channel is really about live content. Yeah, it's about good quality content. As well. Video training. You know, apparently, one in three of us is uploading video on a regular basis these days. So look to your left, look to your right, and if it's not them, it's you. Yeah? Content guidelines. So we'll basically tell you what it is we're looking for. You know, it's, it's fair enough if you really want to get on camera and you know, you want, you want to show your face to so many people. You've got to have some relevance. You've got to have some guidelines. And promotion. So I've just told you how we promote this. It's really up to you. You've got the ideas, bring them to us. We'll do everything within our capability to really get your message out. Uh, those are our, those are Benita's details on the bottom left. My details on the bottom right. They're going to disappear in a second, so if you want to take that down. Okay, so, Benita, are we ready to go live? Ready, are we ready? Yeah. 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 Okay, so, yeah, yeah, don't worry, I'm going to get you out of it. So what's going to happen now is, I'm going to switch the thing on, and I'm going to say, my name is Ronaldo, I'm with Benita Moska, we're here live in Paris, and we share best. Yeah. That was pretty good. If you give it just 10% more, than we actually live. Right, I need, uh, I need an assistant producer. Any volunteers? I will, I, I will just come and grab one of you. And if you don't make eye contact with me, I'll definitely pick you. <laughs> System producer, no one aspires. Don't worry, we're not going to get you on camera just yet. A helper. Okay, okay, okay. I'll tell you what. David, can you join us? David from Piggy Bee, give him a round of applause. Okay. And you can just hang around that desk for a second where that pen and paper is, just behind you. And on that says name and venture, just there. Yeah? Okay. Hey, there's no point leaving. We haven't gone live yet. People get worried. Okay. Jason. 
Why don't you join us as well? Jason from Neil Sherry. Give him a round. Michelle, we've just met, right? Why don't you come and join us? Michelle, I'm of course I don't know her name, but welcome, Michelle. Do your hair pink makeup on. You got one minute. One minute to do this. Okay. Please forgive us. This is very important. I think it's one of the most exciting things that we share first. Okay. <laughs> Sharing Economy TV. My name is Imran Arzen. This is Benita Matoska. We're live in Paris and this is the launch of Sharing Economy TV at We Share Fest. Barcelona, but we have houses all around the world, 160 countries already. 
Ah, this is Catalonia. Unfortunate about the football the other day, but we won't speak about that, shall we? Thank you. Okay, Benita, that's our launch. Um, we're ready to sign off now because we've got to get off stage. But um, that's it. Yeah, they'll probably throw us off. So this has been Sharing Economy TV live from WeShare Fest. Woo!